What happened there? Don't drink Jamie Cup, do you? I'll try it closer. It's cold, though. It's really short. It got very hot. Yeah, it looks like it got pretty hot and smoky. Well, it went until the upper piece slept. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. Yeah. The question is how good of a weld did you get? Probably not very good. Very good. Well, it's not gonna look good on the outside, but <laughs> see if you can break it when it cools down. Which it's hot. Yeah, you can. It looks pretty warm. What's slipped? Huh? The uh, upper the bolt piece broke. slipped. Uh, oh, the bolt broke. Yeah. Huh. Which is not a bad thing, is it? Right. No, no it's not really. That's a pretty safe mode of failure. Yeah. And it stopped it instantly. Well, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. That's what you kind of want. Mm -hmm. That's hard. That's true. Stop. Just to break the bowl. <laughs> okay, so use a shear a pen when you're doing this. Oh. Moved a little bit. It moved. I think. Did it move? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I'll start going this way. This seems easy. Hammer time. <laughs> we, we had a piece of aluminum that we needed yeah, to hold. Someone and impressed. We needed it stronger, so we put a steel slug through the hole. It was stronger than <laughs> when it was done. You might be able to break it, but that's pretty tough. This was just a fun mucking around test to see whether it's possible to friction weld aluminum tube on a small mill. It could be used to make a part for a senior design project. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep experimenting.